thing that inspired me to become a civil engineer, it probably wasn't one thing in particular. It was more just a gradual realisation that I loved understanding how the practical world worked. And I had a cousin who was a mechanical engineer and his, his mum, my aunt, uh, suggested that engineering might be for me. And up to that point, I'd never thought about it. So the little bit of research, um, understanding a bit more of the industry, that's when I realised that civil engineering really could be for me. I like the fact that every morning when I get up and go into work, I will be faced with something completely different. No day as a civil engineer is the same. It could be a issue around design, it could be a change in subcontractor, it could all of a sudden be ground conditions that we hadn't anticipated. You can't plan for everything. And that is what makes civil engineering so exciting. I didn't realise just how varied civil engineering is. So my education was quite academic. I learned a lot of the theory, a lot of the maths, but actually most of the work I do doesn't relate back to the theory at all. I do a lot of project management. I look at commercial, I look at health and safety, the environment, sustainability. I look at economics. I look at shareholders. I look at communication with the, with the environment and the, the surrounding people. It is not just a group of middle-aged men in hard hats on a construction site. Civil engineering takes people from all walks of life, from all demographics, and you can do any kind of work from, from the site work, but also through to design, through to management, through to cost control, technology, coding, economics, sustainability, environment. It covers so many different aspects, and there is a place in civil engineering for everyone.